I'm so excited for you to have gotten the Sports Card Tracker Auto Updating Card Tracker subscription. It's really amazing. I'm going to take you through it right now. And then, oh, I guess it's going to update again. So the first thing you'll notice is I've pre-populated it here. Um, I initially made this when I was flipping a lot of Kobe cards. So this is kind of an honor of uh, uh, the year or two that I was really focused on Kobe cards and um, really why I put this together. But I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then the only other fields that you will need to edit will be right up here, which is where you can put any link to any card. Um, and it'll populate with the name of the card, the picture of the card, and um, the information here. This is some overall information here. So we've got the total population of PSA graded cards for that specific card, uh, a 0 to 10 point scale on the rarity of PSA populated cards for that card. So for example, let's see, you can see uh, I included uh, Ken Griffey's uh, upper deck rookie here. There's 93,000 of them graded. Um, and so basically at 100,000 or more cards graded, um, the rarity is almost a zero. It's not very rare. Um, and then as you get to about 100 cards, you can get between a five and a six, and that's obviously great. And then if there was, if you got all the way down to just the one graded card by PSA, um, that would be a rarity of 10 out of 10 on the scale. Um, it just gives you a sense for uh, different cards, and I can take you through a little bit. If you look at Kobe Bryant's uh, Tops Rookie, um, there's 33,000 of them, but then I like the NBA variant because there's only 1,500 of them. Um, obviously, if you go through the data here, you can see that his Tops Chrome and Chrome Refractors are maybe the most popular. So, um, But then market cap is really if you bought out all the PSA graded cards of all grades for that specific card, for example, the Tops Chrome would cost you $11 million um, to buy all the cards out there for all the different values. And that's a real good way to notice like you know, the most kind of most valuable or most popular card that p there's the most demand for is this Topps Chrome Refractor. Um, there's, it would cost you $17 million to buy them all out, whereas it only cost you a million dollars to buy all out of uh, all of the regular cards. We'll go into this in more de detail, but the next line that I use here is demand per card. So you can see, let's go to the regular Topps one. On average, if there's $7 million of value out there, um, and there's 33,000 graded cards, you get to 226 per card. Now this is just a relative value, it's ignoring each individual grade. It's just a good idea. And then when you look over at this uh, Topps Chrome Refractor, uh, on average you're talking about $41,000 just to get your hands on one of these per card. Um, and then the uh, credentials is even more because there's only 90 of them. So this is a good way to put all of Kobe Bryant's rookies on a page. You can do this for any player you want um, and so forth. But you can really get a sense for um, where is the heat, where are most people looking for, uh, the, where are the cards that are most in demand to find which one is their rookie and invest in that. I'll probably make more videos on that and I didn't mean to go too far off track here as you're just getting your sheet, but really wanted to show you what I, I've added into the sheet here for you. <clears throat> the next section here is the uh, current auction values of cards that have sold by PSA grade. So you got PSA 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, or 3, 2, 1, and so forth, and then the values here. Every time you open the sheet, it'll update with the most recent values uh, of auctions across eBay, Heritage Auctions, PWCC, um, anywhere, big auction houses where there's publicly available data. This goes and collects it automatically instantly for you and that's really the value of this uh, sheet um, when I first started making this kind of as a cheat sheet for cards that I either wanted to flip or how much I wanted to sell my cards for um, it would take me hours to just put this together for all the different Kobe rookies um, and then every time I wanted to update it I'd have to go through the same process and so really I think the value of this sheet for you will be um, that it just does it all for you and so once you decide which cards you want to put in your sheet, um, it'll automatically update it. You can change it at any time. Just go and change the link up here, which I'll show you how to do that next. Down here is the PSA graded card population by grade. And so you can see, um, for example, there's only 90 graded credentials and a whole chunk of them are just 
authentic. They don't have a grade. They're just considered authentic cards uh, and so forth. But you can even see um, what's awesome is this uh, Kobe Skybox rookie, the green one. Um, it's actually very hard to get into good condition. So you can see most cards kind of have this uh, meaty nine grade uh, section. You know, 65% of the Topps Chrome cards that are graded are nine. Um, you can see actually more cards are an eight than anything else of this one. And a 10 is so, so, so rare. We're often Topps cards. You can get 10 to 15% of graded cards being a PSA 10. This Skybox card, only 0.4% of the cards that are graded turn out to be a 10, and that's why this card is so amazing, and the PSA 10 will cost you about $21,000 right now. Um, but that's how I use that information. I also use this because I generally don't want to buy a card that's below kind of these big averages. So, for example, in the Skybox, I would, I would get a PSA 10, 9, or 8 if I was looking for a long-term investment but I would not go below kind of the averages here and get a seven or a six. Um, it's a below average grade to me. Um, and that's how I use this data down here. And then if you're interested in actually the exact PSA population, not just in percentages, but the number of cards by grade, um, this is what it does here. And so you can see there are very few as a percentage of these, but the credentials, there's actually only four total out of the 90 that are graded at 10, that's why they're worth so much more than even the very few, you know, PSA 10 uh, base Skybox cards. So I want to show you how to customize this for your own cards that you're interested in. Show you how to now customize this. That's kind of the fun part for your own cards. So what you would do is you'd click here on this link, and this brings you to PSA's auction prices. If you just go to PSACard.com, click on auction prices up here, um, you'll get to the same link. Um, but let's say you want to update your sheet and put in a 1979 Gretzky rookie, which is actually a hockey card I just got. It's sort of like the hockey card. Let's go with a P o Peachy right now. So you just click on the link for the auction prices. You'll see this is the overview of the Gretzky card. We have all the PSA grades and then the values here. This is actually the data that um, the tracker will now automatically pull from every day that you open the sheet. It's amazing. So you just go in here. Sorry, it's got Kobe Skybox. Let's take him out. Let's put in uh, Gretzky and just give it a minute. And you'll see now the 1979 Peachy Wayne Gretzky is pulled in. You can also see that there's $43 million uh, of value in all the cards of Gretzky's cards. Um, I'm super pumped up to have just gotten one of them myself. Um, but that's how fast the tracker upgrade updates. And now if you leave that link in here, um, every day it'll be on your list. And again, if you want to go back and add another one, you just go... Come on, PSA. Thank you. And then we're going to go to the 1979 Topps Wayne Gretzky card. And again, here's the data. Um, but this one's, instead of his more rare Opeachy card, this is the Topps one. So I'll just grab the link here paste it into sorry Kobe here and so forth and then just give that a minute and it'll automatically populate with the data sometimes I do think this sheet is magic um, but again go ahead and you can put in all the cards you want if you want to make an entire sheet of Julio Rodriguez or Jordan Alvarez cards to look at um, go for it if you want to put in the most valuable cards in baseball or if you have cards in your collection and you just want to track their value um, this is a great tool to do all that. I use this tool initially to um, have kind of instant up-to-the-date information so that when I'm looking at auction prices, I would know when I spotted a deal and I could jump on it and buy cards to flip. Um, I've also used it to keep track of cards that I have and their values. Um, but I think for buying and selling opportunities, um, hopefully you see the amazing value of this sheet. Um, I spent a lot of time on it. And if you have any suggestions on how to make it even better for you, um, just to reach out to us in the contact form at sportscardsedge.com. Really thank you for signing up and uh, good luck with all your, your trades and flips.